Hello, and welcome to another installment in Student Life. Today with me, I have Max. So Max, today we're going to talk about time management. How do you manage your time? <laughs> All right, so for me, what I believe that time management is all about, it's basically knowing what to do, how to do it, and what specific time to do it. Mm -hmm. For um, So in my daily routine, the first thing I would do was schedulize, right? I would s make a list of all the things I need to do during that day, and I'll set a time limit um, for me to complete this. So usually my time limit would be from two to three hours each day for my homework. Um, so that would give me until at least 7.30 because I usually get home at 4.30. 4 so it'll give me 30 minutes to, uh, three hours to get my work done. Mm. That's, that's good. That's really good, actually. Uh, so, also, uh, in that schedule, uh, when, how much and uh, when do you study for tests? Um, so, what I would usually do was I would use the rest of my time for either studying or for um, entertainment, I us I go to sleep at 10 o'clock, so that will give me at least two hours and 30 minutes. But since I usually get my homework done prior to that, I would use the remaining time of my limited uh, schedule so I could either study, practice, or just go over my work. Uh, I made sure that I would never, ever, ever uh, go like use the time that I have left on my uh, two to three hours for um, my phone or my computer, something like that. I would use it only for studying or work purposes. Okay, okay. Uh, how do you find time to sleep and have a social life outside of school? <laughs> um, so what I would usually, after like as soon as school was over, I would usually s use that time until 3.30. So I would give myself about 30 minutes to just hang out, chill with my friends and stuff like that. And then I would use, after 3.30, I would head home and get back at 4.30. And then the rest of that time until 7.30 would be for only work. That's good. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys do a lot of the time? <sighs> what do I do? Um, so you, you're talking as like extracurricular or like stuff outside of work or? Uh, mainly during the 30 minute period of socializing, I guess. Uh, so we usually hang out in the lunchroom because it's usually open until 6 p.m. So we would uh, either just hang out, play cards, uh, just catch up on each other's lives because we don't usually, all we see each other, but we don't all have the same period. So sometimes I don't even see anyone until like at the end of the day. So we just use that time to like catch up on whatever happened over the weekend or if uh, just anything that happened in our daily lives. That's great. Um, how do you uh, avoid procrastination? Um, so as I said before, I would usually set up like a schedule or a list of things that I'm going to do during that day. So that usually helps me, but if I'm, if I either forget to or if I don't have a lot of work to do. Um, what I would usually do is I would set a reminder on my phone saying like, um, you have this coming up or you have something to do like that. And I would use that as a like, you know, a reminder to keep me on track. Yeah, that's, that's really useful, especially for people, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anybody in particular <laughs> who have problems with things like that. Mm. So yeah. Uh, how do you stay on top of your work from school as well as your life at home? Um, this kind of falls into what I said before about setting up like a schedule or something. But I would also like, if, say if I don't understand something in class, like a homework assignment, I would usually try to um, find time during the day to go and ask, usually around like lunchtime. Mm -hmm. I have fifth period lunch, so that's around 12. So I'd usually use that time to uh, go to the teacher and say, all right, I didn't understand how to do this, or can you go over this real quick for me? Mm -hmm. That usually helps me like stay on track of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. 
your um, parents ever get mad at you for not doing something? Um, because you like forgot about it or something? Yeah. You no, know, because of the schedule. Mm. Well, I'm gonna say one time I forgot. I completely forgot because we were like, you remember last week we had like a few days off, mm -hmm. so I completely forgot about some of the things I had to do. Um, my mom, she didn't get upset. She was more disappointed that I forgot to uh, set up something, but I, I still got it done. So it was like not a big problem, but it was something that like I should like be ahead of, you know, with um, everything that's going on in our daily lives. Yeah, yeah. I personally have trouble with things sometimes. Yeah. In the home area. Mm. Containing work. So I'll try that. Um, do you stress over schoolwork? And if you do, how do you relax? Um, so when I'm usually doing my homework or s not schoolwork, because you're not really allowed to, but what I would do is I would listen to like, some music to help cool me down or calm me down while I'm doing this. And if I'm not really understanding this or I'm really struggling on it, I would try to find some time to talk to the teacher or find like a tutor or a friend that like knows the subject well and find some time to like talk to them, say like, hey, can you help me out with this because I'm really struggling on it? Or like, I need just a little bit more help in order to like succeed or pass this class, you know? And that's what I would usually do. Okay, so uh, you'll never like get stressed out over it or nothing. I don't. R I don't really stress out about work, I, but I know a lot of people who do stress over work, and I mean that might have something to do with um just like home issues, or they're just not really understanding what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so those t like factors like that would go into like why they're stressing over schoolwork. But for me, I really don't stress over it. It's just something that, like, you know, you got to do it, so get it done. When do you find time to have fun while balancing your schoolwork? Um, so like I said before, I would usually just hang out with my friends until, like, 3.30. And during, like, after I'm done with my uh, schoolwork or homework, I would usually just go on my phone, check Snapchat or Instagram see what's going on and stuff. Or I would go on my computer, just watch them a few videos. Cause um, I usually, I don't really talk to people on the phone. Just, just check on my uh, Instagram, social media, stuff like that. Just catch up with times, you know? Yeah, yeah, solid. <laughs> if you have two choices, how do you decide which is more important? So you mean like, choices in schoolwork or like between schoolwork or just having fun? Um, the original question is about like choices between schoolwork. Say you had like a project and like a smaller assignment that wasn't worth as much or a project that was due that day or a smaller or another project that was due maybe tomorrow. Mm. Like which would you decide to work on and how? Um, so for me, I usually like to get the easier stuff done first, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you just got to get the, um, bigger or harder stuff to get, um, you have to get that done first. But you said since the, uh, bigger one was due to today, the smaller one was due tomorrow. Um, I would try to get the bigger one done as fast as I can. Um, so yeah, that's how I would like organize that whole scenario. Okay. Uh, how do you use technology to help you do work and stay on task? Um, like I said before, I would use I would sometimes use my phone to set reminders for uh, like things that I have to get done. Say like we have a project that's due next week, but I also have like a bunch of other little mini assignments like this week. I would set my phone to remind me maybe Friday or Saturday that I have this project that's due next week. And I would try to, like, intertwine that with the uh, smaller assignments that I have to do. So maybe I would finish one or two one day and then, like, maybe type, like, an intro or something to the uh, bigger project and just go on that for the rest of the uh, week. Yeah. Okay. 
what advice do you have for perhaps like an incoming freshman who isn't used to like a high who isn't used to a high amount of work and like because their old school wasn't one of those schools that gave like a lot of work mm. um one thing i would say is to always be ahead of um ahead of your schoolwork ahead of your classes you never want to fall behind because especially I have like experiences with this if you fall behind you stay behind for a while and it's even tougher to get yourself back up rather than just to maintain it so I would say get ahead of your schoolwork at an early stage so you're not struggling later on in life or later on if you're in your um, academic career um yeah that's all I got to say well that's the last question <laughs> <laughs> so um that's all for our, this installment of Student Life. This is Muhammad Hill. This is Maxwell. Signing off. Well, I gotta sit so they can unmic this. How long was that?